all right wonderful people welcome back again to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information and see the hot in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first to watch it the video on your screen that you are about to watch is concerning the current protest that is going on in Nigeria. The theme of the protest is called End Bad Government. And this protest was announced to start on the 1st of August to last for 10 days. And the protest has been on since the 1st of August in so many states in Nigeria. States like Lagos, Kaduna, Kanu, Abuja. Uh, apart from southeastern states where this protest is not being held, but other states in Nigeria like Lagos, Akure, Ondo and the rest of them has been plunged by this particular ongoing protest that is tagged and bad government. But if you look at this protest, this one you are watching now is the protest happening live now in Kanu as Kanu continues, I mean in Kaduna as Kaduna continues their protest. But there is one significant thing about this particular protest, or one thing that I was able to fish out about this protest. Because this protest is not like every other protest. Meanwhile, if people are protesting for bad government, what they should have had in their hands is placards that will be demonstrating their, 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 their fear, demonstrate their anger, and why they are protesting. But on this particular protest, I saw something different, something quite strange that I began to wonder, why is this thing happening in this protest? I thought that this protest is supposed to be a protest for a bad government. Why is it as if that the protest is turning to something else? Something I saw that is very fishy about this, about the current protest that is going on in Nigeria, in Kanu State to be specific, is that the people who are carrying out this protest, you can see them moving about with Russian flag. A lot of them are with Russian flag. And I am asking, why are they with Russian flag? This protest is being held in Nigeria. The protest is for Nigerian citizens. The protest is to make Nigeria to become a better country. Why are they moving with Russian flag? And when I was listening to the video, some of them were saying, Putin is coming. Putin is coming. Vladimir Putin is coming. Putin is coming. And I am wondering, how can Putin interfere in a sovereign government? Is there, is this flag, this Russian flag, that these individuals are carrying, does it make any sense to you? Does it make any sense to you? Is it sending a message to you? Is there an interpretation that you are able to interpret from this particular protest that is going on that people are supposed to be carrying Nigerian flag. But in this video in Kaduna, they are carrying the Biafran flag. And one of, I mean, they are carrying the, the, the Russian flag. As you can see, one of them that is even carrying the Nigerian flag said Nigeria for sale. And he marked bad and every other thing on the Nigerian flag. For me, I think that this particular action is very fishy. Because I don't understand why there will be a protest in a country and the people in that country who are carrying out the protest are carrying the flag of another nation. You can see the little boy carrying the Nigerian flag and he painted that Nigerian flag. And what he's going to say to them is Nigeria for sale. That's what he's saying to the man. He's saying to the man that Nigeria is for sale, whether if he will be able to buy Nigeria. And when he made that statement to the man, the man called him back say he should come back, that he is able to buy the flag. And as you can see, they are negotiating with the man on how much the man is going to pay for the flag. Why should the citizen of a nation sell the flag of their nation, carrying another flag to represent them? Why is, why is the flag of Russia being represented in this particular video? I thought it should be Nigerian flag. Is this protest really for bad government or is there any other agenda behind the ongoing protest because having a protest in a country and using another nation's flag it is not even united states flag that someone will say okay because it's united states flag maybe they are calling on the strong nation to come and help the nation 
watch the video and see as it happen. But as the protest is ongoing, the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, made his speech on Sunday and on Saturday and encouraged Nigerians to talk to the citizens and allow them to know that he feels their pain and how he tends to address the issue of the nation. But a lot of people are, are still angry, according to them, that Tinubu was not able to address the proper issues that are bedeviling the nation as at this time. The organizers of the NBAT government protests have demanded the release of 1,150 protesters allegedly arrested by the police during the first three days of the nationwide rallies. In response to the appeal by President Bola Tinubu to end the protest, which has claimed several lives, following his broadcast on Sunday morning, the organizers, Take It Back Movement Youth Rights Campaign, and the Creative Change Center, in separate interviews with Punch on Sunday, vowed to carry on with the demonstration, stating that Tinubu did not address their demand in his Sunday morning national broadcast. Tinubu had called for dialogue and an immediate end to the nationwide protests that have rocked the nation since Thursday. Protesters, largely youth, have been marching across several states, including Lagos and the federal capital territory Abuja, for an end to bad governance and economic cash. Tear gas and gunshots were fired to disperse protesters and journalists in Abuja with several arrests made by security operatives on Saturday. The protest has also been marred by reported looting by hoodlums in Kanu, Kaduna and other northern states, with the police going after the co-priest to recover some items. However, the president, who said his administration was ready to listen and address the concerns of the protesters, claimed he has had their calls loud and clear. Tinubu also commiserated with the families of Nigerians who died during clashes with security forces and those who lost properties to looting, recorded in various states. I hereby enjoin protesters and other organizers to suspend any further protests and create room for dialogue, which I have always acceded to at the slightest opportunity, he declared. He said, the country requires all hands on deck, regardless of age, party, tribe, religion, or other de device to work together in reshaping its common destiny. To the protesters, he said, I have heard you loud and clear. I understand the pain and frustration that drive this protest, and I want to assure you that our government is committed to listening and addressing the concerns of our citizens. But we must not let violence and destruction tear our nation apart. We must work together to build a brighter future where every Nigerian can live with dignity and prosperity. Let nobody misform, misinform and miseducate you about your country or tell you that your government does not care about you. But responding to Tinubu's appeal, the director of mobilization, Take It Back Movement, Dalima Adenola, said, the group will continue to mobilize more support for the demonstration and demand the unconditional release of protesters in custody. But the police said on Saturday that a total of 681 criminals were arrested for committing various offenses between Thursday and Friday. The force public relations officer Muiwa Adejobi in a statement also noted that only seven persons had been killed during the protest. However, Ademiwa disclosed that they were making frantic efforts to ensure that the protesters were released, adding that their lawyers were working to ensure the release of the protesters. This is currently happening in Nigeria right now, as the protest still continues. Um, but one significant, one uh, different thing about this particular why are people carrying uh, the Russian flag? why are people carrying the russian flag uh, does it mean anything does it mean anything to each and every one of these people why are they carrying the russian flag why are they carrying the russian flag 
because uh, some of these things um the the people need to look into it and know why what is russian flag doing here is there a plan going on is this something that we don't actually know meanwhile this is where i'll be winding down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like share comment